Sketch. Hello guys, so today we will be running Google Test Ads on our Sketchway application. So let's get this started. Open up your Sketchway application. So uh, we'll be running Google Test Ads, which are really crucial if you want to run real ads. This will really actually permit us to know if our Sketchway application is ready to run real good ads. So let's get this started. So uh, you can directly start with a new project. You can give a name. Let me say uh, AdMob Ads. You create your application. It opens up. So the first thing you need to do, you need to enable uh, Google AdMob in your Sketchway app. So you move on to Library. There you have actually App Compact on Design, Firebase, AdMob, Google AdMap. So actually these are some features. So if you're using the free version, you actually have to watch a video to unlock those features. So I already did it, so you just have to click on add more. You to click on add more directly, you can watch the video first. I already did, so uh, step one is to you need to first of all add, add units. So you can click directly to add manually. You can give it a name. Primarily we have a banner. Ads for the ad unit. Since we will be using uh, Google uh, Test Ads, you can directly log on to uh, Google and do some research. Just like search Google Ad Mob Test Ads ID and click on the first option to provide. This is just to get the Ad Mob App ID. So if you actually don't have a real account, you can just search for it. This will permit us to test. So we have banner, which are the basic ads. We copy move on to your application and you paste at we have to actually run interstitial ads interstitial ads for the ad unit id just to log on to google you copy and you paste as easy as that add next So now we need to assign the ad units. Just click on edit. First one is the banner. Select. Interstitial. Select. And now for the test devices, just click on add devices. Automatically, your sketchware has already identified your app. So just click on add to just save it. And that's. Move on to next. You save. So actually you have a add mob, use Google add mob and it's on. We actually move back to our interface to create an app. It's going to take some time, so uh, just wait. We need to run some test ads. Just have to be patient. Okay, so here's our interface. First thing you notice, you go, you move on to add view, drag and drop. You can select, you can see banner, you can select it. Let's say we have, we want to run like four types of ads. Second one, drag and drop the third one, the fourth. So you can put, you can add as much as you want. So for the second, we are going to just design the size. Medium rectangle, third one, large banner, and the fourth one, smart banner. Exact, excellent. So here are our banner ads that will actually show the test ads. So we move on to event. So what do we want to do? On opening this application, we want the ads to run automatically. So on activity create, you can directly move on to. Um, variables tap on view and you search for the ads it's actually right down so we have add view you drag and drop you select add view one since we have four we are going to add uh, four of them so here we go add view two add view three 
had before. Excellent. And that's that. You can move on now to uh, for the interstitial ads. You can go on to components. These are the various components Sketchware has to offer. So there are many things we can actually do with Sketchware. It's really a wonderful app. I love this app. So you click on, on interstitial ad. Give it a name, interstitial. Excellent. Okay, okay, interstitial. And you add. So there are stuff you can do. You can decide to define what happens when the ad loads, what happens when it fails to load, when it opens, and all like. So you have to choose on your own directly. But that's not important right now. So we have already defined it. Actually, to run the uh, interstitial ads, you can actually design the button. Move on to events. You go to view. So button on click. When you click the button, what happens? You move on to components. You will have your interstitial component that will appear. You just drag and drop as usual. So we have you create the interstitial ad. You load the interstitial ad and finally you show it. You design each of them as easy as that. I guess we're ready. You save. Don't forget to save. It's very important. Now you run. Sketchware is actually compiling our app to permit us to run those ads. We just have to be patient once more. You install your app. You just have to be patient. So actually, this is already a banner ad that is actually showing. You can actually see it asking me to install. So we are going to have that on our application. You open your app. You just have to wait. So this is actually an issue of patience because ads they really take some time to load. They need to be created. They need to load before showing up. So we just have to be patient. Finally, view our test ads. So remember, we have four ads that have to show. Just have to be patient. And that's that. Nice job. Test ads successfully loaded. Congratulations, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm actually uh, going to keep us updated. My next video will actually permit us to show real ads. So, uh, Create your AdMob accounts and get ready for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Thank you so much.